Hey guys, what's up? This is Joe. We're Shao Style. We're Joe the Editor and all the other good stuff. So originally I had a tutorial set up for you guys, but the mic was on, but not for the audio for the from the computer, right? I needed you to hear like the audio from like my project, but the audio was not on. It's just my settings were off. Yeah, that's that, right? So I had to completely dish the damn project. The good thing is that that's why I don't get too attached to these projects because shit like that can happen and I can get very upset. It's all good. It's not a loss. If anything, I learned something. So something I want to talk about in this video is basically how I feel that um, making decisions on your own personal skill set that you would like to learn, right? Now, in regards to my channel, I mean, my YouTube channel, it's not big. I know that. However, like I feel like I do get more engagement through Twitter and Instagram, you know, like people that watch my stuff there, you know, like my dailies. I had you know, a few people ask me questions about like, oh, I really like your work. I want, you know, to get inspired to like try to do more dailies themselves. And, you know, I have this one person like ask me if I do music videos or if I do like loops for, you know, VJs and stuff like that. You know, it was, it was a short little discussion that I had on like oh, through Instagram and, you know, it was cool. You know, I took my time to like respond to him and all that. He told me pretty much how like he is aiming to like develop a skill to do visuals for like, uh, you know, clubs, you know, like when you have the DJ playing and, you know, they have like a light show on the back and all that stuff. So that's cool. He was pretty specific of what he wanted to do. And I think like this is pretty much what I want to talk about in this video is that do have a go in mind and like be specific on what you want to learn because that does dictate the kind of tutorials you're going to watch that dictates how much time you can spend on your projects or where you're going to put your practice in, right? Because like the internet internet is awesome there's so much uh, tutorials out there for you to learn however it is easy to get lost within all these tutorials right a good example of that is basically you know i wanted to learn how to like get good at cinema 4d you know it's a 3d modeling software and literally i spent about a year straight almost daily doing tutorials you know doing this doing that with it and i got okay with it <laughs> You know, the funny thing is I spent so much time on it and then like towards the end I realized that I do not like to model in 3D. It's just not my thing. And like um, the thing is, I don't know, I was really focused on trying to get good at that for some reason. Like I just, I don't know, just one of those things. But the thing is that like I learned that it's more important to follow what you're passionate about rather than like trying to develop a skill that you feel is necessary to make yourself more marketable, right? I guess what I'm trying to say is that don't be too concerned on learning skills that you feel will make you a hireable person for a studio. You know, right? Because like I think it's more important that you develop your own your own skill set that makes you you. You know, because I have worked in an actual like uh, in a production studio where like I was talking to the guy and he he gave me a temp job mainly because he liked my my reel. He liked what I was able to do. This is when I was really into After Effects doing you know visual effects and stuff like that. So he had me work with him for a while and he told me that pretty much he gets emails daily. You know, people asking for work and whatnot, but they don't have nothing to offer. If they do show, like, some kind of work, you should just, you know, student projects that they do through school, right? There's nothing uh, that they do on their own time, right? I stood out because, you know, I did more of my own thing, right? And, like, he had me on board. That was one studio. There was another second studio, actually, where the same thing. He liked my reel because, you know, I did something different, like, that was more me, more unique. And I didn't get, I didn't work with the second studio, but I was able to, like, meet the guy in person, and, like, he said the same thing. He gets, like, daily emails from people that either just graduated or they're looking for work or they're interested in learning and whatnot and he does not have the time to you know respond to all those emails or to work with someone that like doesn't really have a certain skill set you know i got called back mainly for that <laughs> because you know there's something in about my skill set that they found of interest now that being said even though i already feel like i have a, a skill set that is beneficial to someone else i still continue to improve on it right because originally i wanted to become a vfx artist but then like as i became like involved with like you know, more youtube content creators it basically my attention focused more on being able to edit better right when I started editing for YouTubers, I noticed that like my Premiere Pro skills were not that great. I was just like, okay, click and drag and whatnot. However, as I started to get more work and then like deadlines were needed to be met, right? Uh, or say like if I was to go to Vegas or go to Taipei and I'm getting all these projects, you know, at the same time, obviously the need to like improve my skills on editing was there. And next thing I know, my attention was focused on more on how I can edit faster, but without losing quality. I didn't improve audio. I, at first, I didn't know anything about audio. I didn't like to work with audio. So then, like, I learned how to, like, you know, clean up audio, the compression, and all this stuff, right? Understanding how to remove noise and all that crap. You know, recently, I just discovered a way to, like, color correct or color grade better, right? Because I wanted to get a better result. I want to create a better product for someone like Paul. That's the thing. I guess, like, there's always a constant need to improve yourself, right? However, that constant need needs to be 
be dictated by what you're actually doing at the moment, right? If your goal is whatever it may be, if you're watching my videos because, you know, you're interested in editing or you're trying to become a content creator, definitely focus on what makes you, you, right? You know, like I said, it's very easy to be like, oh, I just want to create videos. But like I said, there's definitely a process to getting involved with learning of, to create videos, right? So definitely you need to learn with what is necessary and kind of disregard the rest. When the time comes to learn something new, whether it's learning how to fix uh, the color of your footage, whether how to use a camera, whether how to use record audio better, whatever it may be, you know. Certain skill sets is going to start to come one after another once you start getting into like a certain rhythm of work, right? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. So I was working on a tutorial, but like the audio for like the, the video itself that I was working on wasn't being recorded into OBS. And I was like, ah, shit. That's kind of like one of like the main things I wanted to show you is um, editing with audio, but whatever. I'll make that next time. So, so yeah, I'm going to try to like do a video every maybe once or twice a week. I don't know, mainly in my free time, but like most importantly, I guess I'm trying to like figure out a way where I can just film, edit, and get it all done in under an hour. That's pretty much my goal with these videos, right? I got to figure out the rhythm for that. Anyways, that's enough. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace.